fantastic ground and last season uh, when I first joined we played Tottenham at home which was a you know it was a massive derby the feeling you know walking out uh, and, and seeing everyone there and you know all the family were there and you know it was my first game in the Premier League you know it was it was special and one that'll always be with me I'm Forever Blowing Bubbles is, um, yeah, that is such an emotive and unusual song for a, for a football team and rather appropriately with West Ham it's always been about dreams fading and, and dying. It does sort of, you know, really sort of give you goosebumps. It really is a big deal to be changing stadiums, but, you know, I just hope the atmosphere can match Upton Park and, I mean, it's, it's a bowl, the Olympic Stadium that last game, I think everybody's going to have a tear in their eye. It's never going to be the same again. You can never beat the bowling. People say that it, it, things will change. Well, what's going to change? You're in a bigger stadium, you're not going to get that electricity there. The club's going in the, in the right direction, you know, moving to one of the best stadiums in, in England and, you know, in Europe as well, as you could say. You know, it's going to be an extra 20,000 there. It's, you know, it's going to be fantastic and, you know, it's one we're all buzzing for and, and I'm sure the fans are as well. It was a very hard fought game and you know went to 120 minutes and I think it was Dimmy who uh, put the ball in for Angelo in the, in the last second of the game and, and you know thankfully Angelo headed it in and, and saved us all after going to penalties and you know we progressed through the round and we got Manchester United now and, and it's one we want to get through. They've struggled a little bit at times this season but it's still going to be a very difficult game, very difficult. Dimitri Payet, as we, we've managed to get an absolutely wonderful player who I, I think could grace any team in the world, and, and, and the crowd was just really taken to it. From his first couple of training sessions, we all knew what a, what a good player he was, and he hasn't let no one down on the, with his performances on the pitch. And as everyone can see, you know, he's, he's been arguably one of the best players in the Premier League. Yeah, he's up there with Tevez and Di Canio for me, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, you get people that change games, and he changes games. And probably Payet is a bit maybe tops to Canio. I think they just do things that excite the fans and even if it's just showboating in the centre circle, you know, people love it, you know, they, they just love something outrageous and I guess it's historically it maybe goes back to the days of Dockers going to West Ham and just wanting to be, see something entertaining that, you know, maybe makes them forget about the, the drudgery of day-to-day -day life. The fans have really taken to him, they, they sing Super Slav and Bilic and I mean he's been a massive, massive success so far. We didn't really know too much about him as a person, uh, but you know, he's, since he's come in, he's been fantastic with all of us, and you know, he's he's, he's helped all our games, you know, develop this season. Hopefully, we can progress till the end of the season and try and finish high up that table as we can. He seems to say the right things. He knows what makes the West Ham fans tick, and there was a lovely quote about he'd have to get a book of poetry to describe Dimitri Payet, <laughs> which he said the other day, and he, he comes out with these slightly off the wall statements. He's played in a band. He's a bit rock and roll. He's he's a good character, and and he's yeah he, he always says something interesting when when you hear him interviewed. It's Ferdinand saved again by Reina, and Liverpool have won the FA Cup. My kids who are 17 and 15 now. They've that's the only final they've seen, which was heartbreaking and losing in the last minute. So we've not won a cup final since 1980. So yeah, just it's been a long wait. So I think yeah, that would that would mean everything just to win a trophy. West Ham this season are good enough to sort of take anybody on, so I think we'll give it a go and hopefully we'll get in the semi-finals. I never played at Wembley. Me as a little boy, you know, if FA Cup was everything uh, that you dreamed of and now to be standing here and talking about it, you know, it's special.